Yo, what's up team? Uh, happy whatever day you're listening to this on. And uh, today we're going to do a You Got Five Minutes. And reminder that this segment is all about finding that thing that's in your way or the thing that's keeping you stuck or whatever roadblock you have in front of you and making a plan to address it. Uh, yeah. And I'll be the first to admit that sometimes the thing that's in my way is me. <laughs> so um, if that sounds like you, then you're in the right place. And today, the topic that I want to talk about is uncertainty. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. Um, times when you're unsure of really anything, something that's coming next, you finish a project and you don't know what to do next, or anything in between big or small that you're feeling uncertain about. You don't know the next thing to happen or what could happen, right? So I have a couple of ideas for you when it comes to uncertainty, but first I want to share a real simple story of a time when I was uncertain and what I did to address it. So sit down, get comfy, cross your legs if you're that flexible, and let's chat. Let me just tell you a little story real quick. And so that is the story of the time I went to the grocery store without a plan. And uh, yeah, so I knew that I had to. I knew that I needed some food. I needed to go to the grocery store. I wanted to come up. Needed to come up with a meal plan for my next week. And I just wanted to go get it done. And so I didn't take the time to make a plan. If you've ever done this before. Um, then you may have done the same thing that I did, which was take literal laps around the store and through the aisles, trying to figure out what the heck I want you want for food. And yep, that's exactly what I did. Um, so a couple, <laughs> a couple laps in the grocery store and I was still frustrated with, um, you know, I, I wasn't coming up with any ideas. I still didn't know what I want. And again, getting more and more frustrated. So um, at one point I remember stopping at like an end cap and being like, okay, I'm continuing to get frustrated. What the heck? And then I realized that the thoughts that I had been thinking as I had been taking laps were, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. And, <laughs> oh man, once I realized that it was definitely a face palm moment. And then I was like, whoa, I'm literally telling myself, I don't know what I want. And my frustration is increasing. There is a correlation here. And truly, the correlation was in one word. And that word is don't. I don't know what I want was keeping that picture in my head of not knowing what I wanted. And so once I had that realization, I just flipped the script on it. And I said, okay, I'm going to make one word change. And I'm going to say, I do know what I want. I do know what I want. I do know what I want. And it took a couple of reps. But eventually I started to, instead of this picture of, I don't know what I want and feeling uncertain, the, I do know what I want, got the ball rolling in a different direction. And I was able to come up with a couple of basic ideas that I knew would be really easy. Like my go-to when it comes to grocery shopping is often Mexican food. So bam, done and done, grab some Mexican food fixings and I was on my way. And so really the main thing I want to bring up when it comes to, um, like having those feelings of uncertainty or how can you become more aware of the thoughts that are in your head and, and the words that you're using that are, that may be fueling that uncertainty. Are you thinking a lot about what you don't want or what you don't know? And then how can you make a shift into what you do want and what you do know? For example, if maybe you're, um, you know, coming up to the end of a big project or about to finish school or something like, well, I don't know what's going to happen next. Stop, take a deep breath, and turn your attention instead to what you know about yourself. What do you want? Um, and, you know, this is brainstorm time, right? Uh, reflect on your, your skills and the things that you know you can do and the things that you, you know, do a little goal setting. That'd be a great thing to do when it comes to uncertainty as well. So we're getting close to that five minute mark. So those are my tips for you. Flip the script. If you notice lots of don'ts and can'ts, flip them around and start telling yourself, even if it's not quite true yet, start telling yourself, I do know what I want and I do know what to do next and I can figure this out. Simple things like that. Also remember to breathe 
add that in as well too. And uh, yeah, switch your focus when it comes when it comes to uncertainty. Instead of focusing on the uncertainty, what can you be certain about? Awesome. That's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.